Hello, I'm Mike Todd. I'm the mayor of the city of Grand Valley, and I want to talk to you about the state of our great city of Grand Valley. This is our 2019 State of the City. As you travel around town, you've probably noticed the city of Grand Valley continues to grow, and we continue to be one of the fastest growing cities in the Kansas City metro area. Our residential housing permits are up 20% since the same time in 2018, which puts our population at well over 13,000 people. Along with the residential growth, we've also experienced increased commercial growth as well. In the last year, we've issued 350 business licenses just within the city limits of Grand Valley. Among those are several new businesses, including a Temp Stop, Quick Trip, and Taco Bell. The Temp Stop will open in 2019 and will include a Champ's Chicken and a Blue Taco. The Grand Valley Partnership has been busy with economic development and bringing new businesses to the city of Grand Valley. The Grand Valley Partnership is a collaboration of what was formerly the Grand Valley Chamber of Commerce and the Grand Valley Economic Development Council. The Grand Valley Partnership hosts many events throughout the year, including after hours, which bring local businesses together, and ribbon cuttings to welcome new businesses to the city of Grand Valley. The city of Grand Valley has lots of different civic partnerships throughout the city. One of those is with the Grand Valley Assistance Council, which recently moved to a new location on Greg Street in the old Nichols building, which is a property the city recently acquired. The Grand Valley Assistance Council is operating out of that building rent-free. Another civic partnership the city of Grand Valley has is with Bright Futures. Bright Futures is a school organization that helps students in their time of need. This organization is even more important as the student population continues to grow. GBS is another way that the city is engaging the school district and community leaders. The goal of GBS is to engage youth in our community and to provide them with positive role models from within the community. I'm Ryan, I'm the city administrator of Grain Valley. It's been an exciting time in Grain Valley. Uh, there's been a tremendous amount of growth. I've watched the city uh, go through the recession and come back out to where we are once again growing uh, at, a, at a high rate. And actually in 2035, we expect to double our population that we have today. Based on that growth, uh, one of the things that we've noticed at the city is that we need to have expanded uh, building and uh, facilities for the services that we provide, whether it be the community center or city hall administration or the police department. So several years ago, we started looking at a larger campus and possibly property that, that could handle that. And we came across the old Snybar Farm, uh, which is uh, at the intersection of Artie Mize and Buckner Tarzney. Through a series of strategic purchases, the city has been able to assemble approximately 50 acres uh, at the corner of Buckner Tarzney and Artie Mize Road. And this property is going to possibly be used for a Green Valley community campus in the future. Um, it's one of the ways that we can ensure that the city staff and the facilities and the services that we have keep up with the growth that the community experiences. So in preparation of the possible project that we have, south of Green Valley. Uh, we've hired Sap Helix as a design and architect to help us uh, collect market information and, and do some data analysis uh, that will then be used in March forums with the public to help us come up with a design that works for Green Valley and see if there is a need for that expansion in services and staff. City staff and your Board of Aldermen are busy and working hard for you. Public Works had an especially busy winter with huge amounts of snow. They spent over 1,000 hours removing snow from the streets and put down over 400 tons of salt. Connectivity throughout the city is key for city staff and residents. The Blue Branch Creek Trail will be a 10-foot wide trail made of asphalt that will be over a mile in length. The trail will run from Buckner Tarzany to Eagles Parkway right along the creek and it's expected to be completed sometime this year. Another part of this project will be the installation of a pedestrian bridge over the creek to happen in 2020. This project is important because it connects our largest neighborhood in Cybar Farms 
with the high school and Snybar Elementary, along with the Main Street Corridor. The Grand Valley Police Department has implemented several new programs to help keep you safe. One of those is a new speed enforcement program with speed enforcement signs that can be moved from one location to the next. Additionally, you can register your at-home or business security cameras with the Grand Valley Police Department. Our Grand Valley Police officers love to get involved in the community outreach as well. They have a new program called Request a Cop, where you can call the police department and request the cop to show up at your next events. Shop of a Cop has also become another tradition for the Grand Valley Police Department, where they take children to shop for presents to their family at Christmas time. Your next opportunity to engage with our great police officers is coming up in August at National Night Out Against Crime. One of my favorite events is coming up in September, and it's the Grand Valley Fair. Make sure to join us for the fair, the Grand Valley Fair 5K, and the parade. And please join us as we finish off the year at Trail or Treat and the Holiday Lighting Festival, complete with the Mayor's Christmas Tree Lighting. And to stay up on all these great events, make sure to follow the City of Grand Valley on social media. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve this great community. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for our great city of Grand Valley.